Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I guess this will be a, a rebuke video. I've made a handful of these uh, over the years. Um, one was um, how to use YouTube without going crazy. Um, I made that as a result of my uh, initial dealings on YouTube and encountering uh, uh, and just a lot of rude, nasty, hateful people. And when you, when you have to deal with that, you have to figure out a strategy so you can cope with it all. So I, well, I hope you'll watch that video. But the, the, one of the main strategies I've adopted was just blocking the people. Um, but then some people actually have the gall to complain and criticize me for not being willing to talk to someone and blocking them under those circumstances. Um, if someone comes on my channel and is accusatory, insulting, rude, hateful, <laughs> do you think that I want to have a conversation with that, that kind of a person? I don't. If someone disagrees with me, uh, and I can give you a number of examples of people who have disagreed with me, but been respectful and polite, courteous, nice people. Is it too much to ask that you're just a nice person? Uh, in those cases, I've had dialogues, long dialogues, sometimes dialogues that have lasted for months and years with people who have disagreed but there was mutual respect. And then you have the nerve to criticize me for blocking you and not cutting you off and shunning you. Yeah, that's what I've done. That's what I will always do. Unless you can change your attitude and be a decent person. I mean, and as a professing Christian, of all the people in the world, uh, we should expect you to have better behavior than your typical worldly, secular, or non-believer. And yet, I have not found that to be true, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I've discovered that just because someone believes in Jesus, even has the Holy Spirit inside them, it doesn't guarantee that they're going to be a nice person. Um, but the issue really is very simple. Are, are, are you going to be the stereotype of Christians? I made a video, uh, the top five reasons people reject Christianity. A lot of reasons, but one reason that applies to this video now is intolerance. Narrow-minded people who are intolerant, who, who cannot listen to differing opinions. I can't hear that. What's going to happen to you if you listen to somebody and they have a different opinion, opinion than you have on a non-essential theological subject? You're not going to explode, are you? It can't hurt you. I had the attitude, I, I still hold the attitude, that I want to hear opposing views. Because if I'm wrong, I don't want to remain wrong. So, I've had several topics, um, doctrinal positions, on non-essentials, where I listened to the opposing view. And they persuaded me and won me over because I was willing to listen. Listening, being fair, that's, that's a quality greatly lacking in the church, sadly. Uh, fortunately, I have many uh, uh, Christian friends that uh, have great qualities. They are nice people. They are um, polite, courteous, respectful, even when we disagree. And 
That shouldn't be a rare thing. That should be the, that's what should be what's expected of everyone. But there are many people calling themselves Christians that their rudeness and hatefulness is, is actually not only sickening to me, but the world sees it. And they say, if that's what a Christian is, I don't want to ever be one. They're so narrow-minded, bigoted, intolerant, hateful, judgmental. You know, sadly, that's, that's what I've witnessed here on YouTube over the years. There is a faction, fortunately, it is a minority, but they're vocal. They're uh, zealous in their hatefulness. But don't expect me <laughs> to allow you, at least on my channel, you're not going to be allowed to go on being rude and offensive and hateful. If, if that's the attitude that you bring to my channel, you're going to get blocked, you're going to get shunned. And if you think that's wrong, then it just also shows the stupidity that you are bringing to the conversation, thinking that I'm obligated to let you be rude and offensive to me. I'm not. As a Christian, I am obligated to love not only the people that love me, but love my enemy. And uh, some of you are, are sworn enemies against me. Okay, but I'm not obligated to be your friend and associate with you and, and, and let you beat on me and abuse me verbally. I'm not obligated to do that. <laughs> and so it's it's really adding to the, the the critique I have for you is on one hand, these people are rude, insulting, or offensive and hateful. On the other hand, they're stupid because they think that I'm at fault for blocking them. <laughs> All right. Um, we, we have started a church, uh, Church of the Eternally Secure, uh, every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. That's 5 p.m. Eastern time. That's 11 p.m. in England. We have a two-hour church service live uh, broadcast on my channel. So I, I hope you'll, you'll join us. And if you do, you'll see an example of some real saints. Um, the people participating in the discussion, I call them elders. Elders because they've been a Christians a long time and they're mature. Not only do they have a lot of knowledge about the Bible, but they're mature in that they, the way that they're conducting themselves is not like these hateful Christians. So if you will watch this, you'll see an example of how we should be able to interact with each other. We have pledged that we're all faithful in agreement on the core doctrines of Christianity. But we've also pledged that on the non-essential doctrines, we will hear each other out, be polite, respectful, and we don't have to agree on those things. We don't have to uh, disfellowship someone just because they have a different view on a non-essential doctrine. That's the mature attitude to have. And you'll see that displayed every Sunday at our church, Church of the Eternally Secure. So join us. And if you're one of these people that just wants to criticize and be dogmatic on non-essentials and, and uh, well, you won't last long on my channel. The first time I see that kind of attitude displayed, your history. And it's not my fault that you're blocked and shunned. It's your fault. <laughs> in spite of that, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.